welcome family i wanted to show you today how to make a do-it-yourself bottle for breathing awesome bubble through olive oil let me show you so this is what you need one of these bottles silicone baking cup two pieces of silicone tubing scissors and this hole maker okay this one will come out so i have to trim this a little and uh, i already cut this one got a round scissor so see i have to trim it quite a bit and now if i put it here closes perfectly okay okay now you want to make two holes in here all right there's one hole all right so it's not perfect but here you go okay so now it fits in here and it closes here really well but it can easily pop in and we don't want that to happen so let me show you how you can secure it Okay, you could also secure it from the inside. All right, okay. All right. So I'm gonna let it dry a little. one so you want one shorter than the other okay and the longer one we want that one to um, go all the way to the bottom of the bottle all right like that let me show you one that I finish. And uh, this is actually with different materials with the same idea. It's another baking cup. I have a lot of these little connectors. So I have lots of this. They work really well. But you don't need connectors like you saw it here. You just need some tubing. I made this bottle for a friend that um, I'm giving her a full setup so she can breathe oil. And uh, I painted this one in blue so she she was not going to get confused and she'll know that the blue one is the one that goes to the cannula and uh, the long one that goes to the bottom is the one that goes to your ozone generator. All right, let me show you other things that you can use. So. I have other silicon cupcake liners. I think they're liners or um, I don't know what these are called. So this one is in the shape of an ice cream cone like this one. And as you can see, this one um, is fading a little in color because I have used this one before with ozone. And even though silicon is um, completely resistant to ozone, they um whatever they're using for um giving color to the silicon is not and it's fading so but that's fine okay so let me show you baking cups baking cups baking cups and this is a great one and very easy to find this is um baby bottle nipple and these are silicone so these are great so you just make um one hole on the side and make this hole bigger and there you go 
this one is for mini cakes and um, then I have this this is silicone too I have this for baking and I use them a lot uh, this other one too and I have this one this one is for French macarons, but you know, if I didn't have anything else, I can use any of these, but I won't because they're not cheap and I actually use them and I don't need them. Okay, let me show you then other bottles that I have. So this actually is a bigger canning bottle. The one that I use over here is one of the smaller ones, but you can use one of these too. And, uh, and you can use literally, uh, literally any glass bottle that you have. See? Any of you see? This one is actually one of the first gas washing bottles that I bought, and the top broke. So this was the first time that um, I hacked one of these because I was desperate and I was doing lots of food at the time and uh, didn't want to spend one day without doing boo while I waited for a new bottle to arrive. So see, all in there. For this one, I think I used my X-Acto knife to make the holes. So for this one, or even for the smaller one, okay, what you can do is um, you can cut a circle in one of these silicone baking mats. See, you already have it marked for you, and I think I think it's exactly the same size of the of the large canning jar. See. Okay, then you just cut around and instead of using this, you put that circle that you cut in here and make holes again with your punch here and do the same, you know, just get creative. All right, and even if you don't have any silicon, what you can do is, um, and this idea came from Tito. I'm a little more conservative and I really like to use silicone, but worst case scenario, if you really need one, just make two holes in here. You can use this, um, see I have a large nail and uh, I'm not going to do this here. This is not the right place to do it, but I want to show you. So you can just like make a hole here, make a hole here, and then you make it bigger. And then you make it big enough to put your um, silicone tubing through it. You can make it pretty big and then kind of like um, put silicone glue around it so it's not it's not going to cut the tubing. Alright. Another thing that you can make is a trap. And for that I'm gonna use this little container here. I think I had capers in here, I don't remember. But anyways, let me show you. Okay, so this is very easy and I have a couple of options for this one in particular. The first one and the easiest to find is this baby bottle nipple. These are silicone, super easy to find. And you can just make another hole in here with your um, X-Acto knife or with a nail, whatever you have, and make this hole bigger. And There you go. It's so good. And same concept. Same concept. Make a hole here. You make this hole bigger. And then you put tubes. One short one and then one long one. Okay. Then the other option that I have at home. It's, um, I bought this at a Kia, I really, I'm not sure what it is, but it's all silicone, so I just bought it a while ago so I can use it. 
and with my exacto knife I made two holes in there they're not perfect and doesn't matter you make it to a size that is uh, big enough so you can fit your tubing in there and this one look uh-huh fits perfectly and another way that I do this is because I have these connectors I got these connectors from um, they came with an oxygen concentrator that I bought on Craigslist look look how professional look how professional this looks and so I can connect my tubing here let's see let me show you tubing here so See, I'm gonna size it this way. Okay, now I know you can cut it here. Cut a short one. Okay, and you have your trap. And and I'm gonna put some extra tubing in here. There you go. Here you have a trap. Very cute, right? Adorable. Okay, and I have all these other bottles that you could use. So really, anything works. This one is for um, um, kombucha. And let me see. See, see it fits in there. Or uh, yeah, make it fit. There you go. Huh? See, I can put this one here. And voila. Okay. There you go, guys. Look at those bottles. Huh? Easy peasy. Okay, guys, that's all for today. So go to your kitchen and look what you have and get created and show me what you make. Thank you. You take care. Love you all. Bye.